Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a water chestnut in coconut milk and I got a list of ingredients for you right here. Let's jump right into it. I got coconut milk here and water chestnuts. Make sure you pick up the whole chestnuts, okay? And I got here is the arrow finger root flour and panna leaf and here is just tapioca flour and here I got um, sugar and some salt and we're gonna mix um, a few colors today so I'll pick um, the pink one and the green one and I also got um, jasmine essence here yeah? alright let's see the next step alright the first step um, I'm going to prepare the water chestnuts so when you go to the supermarket you might um, grab a a tin of the water chestnuts here just make sure you pick up them the whole chestnut so we're gonna split into like small pieces so like one or two just three cuts and then will be six pieces like this so as you go right now the reason why I use water chestnut instead of sweet potato um, I think it's because of water chestnut has um, a very um, different texture and uh, after it's cooked it still remains like you know crunchy um, unlike the sweet potato but after you cook it it's getting really soft and um, it won't remain like you know shape or form so that's the reason why I choose water chestnut alright then I'm gonna put it in here Alright, in the meantime, while you are preparing your water chestnuts, so, um, you can also um, prepare the syrup. Just turn the heat up into medium and then put the pan on and add the uh, water, about one cup, like this. And then just add the um, sugar. And then just um, Tied it like not like this and for your pan and leaves. So this one gonna bring out the more um, fragrance into your syrup. So I'm just gonna drop it in here. You don't need to do anything, just leave it like that. Alright, until the sugar dissolves and then just turn off the heat and let it cool down. I think my syrup is about to get ready, so I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'll just let it cool down. Alright, after it's cooled down a little bit, I'm going to add the jasmine essence. I'm gonna bring out more ultra good smell for syrup. Yeah, just like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here just to add more flavors. Alright, the next step is where we're going to do the um, coloring on the water chestnuts. So and I'm gonna grab the, the color pink here and probably gonna add that mush so I'm gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna pour um, water chestnut in the bowl Just, so coating it one at a time yeah. Now we got the green one and then the pink one and now we need to make the white one which is super simple I'm gonna grab one of these mixing bowl here right and then I'm gonna add arrow finger root flour in here and then tapioca flour so and then just gonna dump this into a mixing bowl. Alright. I think it looks fine now. And then we're gonna put this into the hot water. Okay. And then we're gonna put everything in here. 
So when it's cooked, it's gonna float up to the top. So you don't need to worry about it. It just easily can easily observe. Let's get rid of the excess flour here. So while this one is still um, cooking, so just prepare the ice bath like this one. Add some cold water in there. So after that, we're gonna scrap it up from this pot and then put in um, in the ice water bucket. Okay, after it's floating like this, and then it's time to take it out from the water. In the ice bath here. There we go. Alright, the last step is to plating the dish. So we have got our syrup here. This is already cooled down. And we got the water chestnuts already here bathing in the ice water. And we got coconut milk right over here. And now I'm going to show you how to serve this. I just grab a small bowl here and then I'm going to add water chestnuts right here. Or maybe two if you want to. I'm quite greedy with my dessert so I'm going to add this much. Next is to add zero. Mmm, smell delicious. You can add coconut milk. Milky, milky coconut milk like this. Alright, isn't it delicious? Alright guys, here is the end result of the cooking today. It's water chestnut in coconut milk. I hope you enjoy watching this recipe. Please like and subscribe on Jolly Kitchen with Kiet, both on Facebook and YouTube channel. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.